This is a fairly quick example of how to use the regex autosuggest provider to transform dates into the format that you want. So if I take this document, which is in Spanish, and I used Google Translate to create the Spanish, so I apologize if it's not particularly good Spanish. I imagine it's not. Um, but as you can see, the dates are picked up. And if I press Control, comma, what I get is the long date format. Now, what I actually want here is I just want this particular transformation to say 01 January 1999, with no commas or anything in there and no days. So the first thing I might do is I go into my project settings, go down to the specific language pair and open that up. So you don't want the all language pairs, you want the specific language pair. And then you go to order substitution. And in here, under the dates and times, you can change the date format. And if I look at those, every single one of those has a comma in it. The closest, as the um, poster in the community noted, is this one with 20th of June, comma, 2015. So if I take this one and press control, comma, you can see I get it with the comma in it, but I don't want that comma. So here's an alternative to doing a search and replace after you've finished doing the translation, and that's to use the regex autosuggest provider. So this is a little plugin from the Open Exchange, which you must install. And once you've installed it, when you go to your file options, and then order suggest here, it will have added this extra provider for you down here, regex match order suggest provider. So you just make sure that's ticked so it's enabled. The next thing you need to do is create your regular expressions to handle this. So to do that, you bring up the little window, which you get to by clicking on view, and then regex match order suggest provider up here. And this brings a little window down here. Now I've got a bunch of stuff in here already, so I'm just gonna show you how this works. So basically what I've done is, I've checked and enabled my Spanish dates. Now all I've done is I've written a regular expression to recognize this date format. So I said, find me a number with a minimum of one and a maximum of two, followed by a space, which is what we have there. Then the word DE, followed by a space. And then you'll see I have this very odd looking thing here with a hash Spanish underscore months. And I'll explain that bit in a second. And then, I have, then I'm picking up the rest of the, the date with a space, DE, space, and then a number with four digits in it. I'm not gonna go into the huge details of that. Hopefully you'll understand the basics of regular expressions to see what this is actually doing. Um, but just to explain the Spanish months quickly, there's another tab in here called variables. And if I click on the variables, in here you can write out things like all the individual months. So I've written all 12 months of the year in Spanish on the left. And on the right, I've written their English equivalent. And I've called this Spanish months. So what this is doing over here, this is allowing me to, to do a lookup on the months and replace it with the English version or the English translation of the month that it found in that lookup. And you call it, or you, you, you enable the use of that list by typing in between hash symbols the name you gave to the variable. So I gave the name of the variable Spanish underscore months, and I've called Spanish underscore months. So I've got a, a, an ordinary, simple, regular expression, and I've replaced the search for the word for a Nero with Spanish months. So it'll do a lookup in the table and it'll say, ah, I found an Nero that should be January. So that's the way that looks. And then my replace pattern, these are just back references, $1, $2, $3. So the first one here in brackets is the date. So I'm saying find that date and remember it, the 01, and that's what the $1 will be. Then it's saying find the month and look it up and replace it with the English, and that will become $2. And $3 will be the third date. So I've told it to just ignore the spaces and the DEs that are in between those things and the dates. And just remember the day, the month, and the year. So the way that works now is if I, I type in the letter zero, you see it's given me the 01 January 1999 with a little R in front of it telling me this is the regex auto-suggest 
um, match provider and I hit return and there's my date and that works if I'm doing things in the, doing things in the middle as well so if I translate the segment here we are I think the 1st of January 1999 perfect and I can confirm that one and I come to the second one second one next it's the 4th of February so next it's the 4th of February 2000 confirm it the next one is 6th of March 2002 comes next so 6th of March 2002 comes next I think you get the idea by now and you can see that it's reasonably straightforward so 22nd of April 2015 22nd of April 2015 and it's raining. Oh, I feel like a translator, look at this. Almost halfway, 21st of May. Almost halfway, 21st of May 2011. So that's all I'm going to show you, but you can see how easy it is to do. So I've instead of using the built-in number conversion, I've used the regex order suggest provider to convert that date in the way I want it converted. And this, this little tool, the regex order suggest provider, provides you the ability to manipulate that date in any way you like. So you don't need to worry about um, what the operating system thinks. You can just make it whatever you like. Great little tool.